Dear class of 2020, congratulations, you've made it. I'm Tin, a proud alumnus of APU and a valedictorian of APU class 2013. So a bit of a long time ago. Seven years ago though, I was exactly where you are today. Proud, yet a bit sad. Excited, yet a bit nervous. Ready, yet not so ready. Proud because you're graduating from high school and sad because you're leaving high school. Excited to embark on the next adventure of your life, yet nervous because you don't know what the future holds. Ready to immerse yourself in the best education at universities across the globe, yet not so ready because you'd be thousands of miles away from your family, friends, and hometown. These conflicting bittersweet feelings are natural. Embrace them, let them fuel you for what comes next. To help you make the best use of these strong feelings you're having in this very special moment, I'd like to offer you three pieces of advice. First, be proud. Proud of yourself, proud of your culture, and proud of your roots. As your journey takes you international, you will represent not only yourself, but also your family, your school, your community, and your country. This pride is the positive energy which will make people respect you and draw them toward you. They will want to learn who you are, where you're from, why you're here, and most importantly, how they can help you. In a way, remembering where you're from will propel you to where you want to be. Second, be bold. Ask when you have a question, even if you know it might sound awkward. Speak when you have a perspective to offer, even if you face contradicting viewpoints. Share when you have ideas, even if you fear your ideas might be rejected or laughed at. And act when you believe it's the right thing to do, even if others don't share your belief. Just go with the flow. If there's a will, there's a way. So be bold and find that way. Third, be helpful. No matter where you are in life, you always have the power to help someone. And just very recently, you actually did. You've helped your friends and teachers adjust to online classes. You've helped your family and community stay healthy by following safety guidelines. And you've helped APU make this graduation ceremony possible by helping however you can. Continue to actively seek for ways to help others. This will serve you well because your willingness to help others will open up others' willingness to help you. And here's what I'd like to offer to help you. Sort of, you know, practicing what I preach. If you ever need help in any kind, in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Send me an email, connect with me on LinkedIn, or PM me on Facebook. I'm happy to help however I can. I've received a lot of help along my journey, and if there's an opportunity, I'd like to help you along yours. And that's it. That's my short message to you. Be proud, be bold, and be helpful as you spread your wings and soar to new heights. And don't worry too much about it. You're APU graduates. APU has prepared you well, just like with the classes before you. Wherever you go next, you'll fit right in and make your mark, believe me. But all of that, all of that is what you need to worry about tomorrow. For today, enjoy this moment of celebration with your families, friends, teachers, and everyone who has helped you get here. You deserve it. You all deserve it. Again, congratulations, class of 2020.